to wrap up the show. Seriously? Oh, gosh. I feel like it's the eighth inning. Oh, right my gosh. Are we really going to? Prozis, that was, you're really trying to get on Ed's good side, I, I guess. Goodness. I he gets a raise. He gets a raise. Well, he'll be the first one he's ever had, so. <laughs> Uh, I'll allow you to introduce, uh, introduce our next guest. Here. Yeah, yeah. So it, it is our uh, VCU baseball coach, Mr. Sean Stiffler. Thank you, Stiff. Welcome. Thank you very much. How's the weather been for the team? <laughs> Pretty it's, good. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, great for baseball right now. Though. Yeah, when guys are getting done what they can get done right now. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, as, as we look ahead to what our guys are preparing for right now, um, we have a, a, on our non-conference schedule: Virginia Tech, Virginia, Maryland. Uh, did did in Georgia Tech? Mm -hmm. Did you join the ACC in baseball and not tell me? <laughs> no, that's uh, that's planned. You know, that's a pretty and, good schedule. And, there, not coach. only do we play those teams, we play those teams at home. Yeah, yeah, we have those teams coming to us this year. Uh, we're home and home with those, all those teams, as well as uh, out of conference USA, Old Dominion, and East Carolina coming in as well. So uh, we're extremely excited about our non-conference schedule, and, and that's just that's just the philosophy of this program. That uh, every year we're going to challenge ourselves with the with the part of the schedule that we can control. Yep. As much as possible. Yep. And, and as you looked ahead from your your first year to now your second year, was that something you said to yourself? Hey, with your staff, hey, listen, you know, we, we got to ratchet this up, or we're going to try to do this, or what was the thought process behind it? Because I'm guessing it is part of we got to get to the NCAA tournament. Sure, absolutely. And, and I, we, the staff and I sat down at the end of last year and, and kind of put our thoughts together on how we're going to run our schedule. And, and our whole thought process is we would like to be judged by our body of work yep. throughout the season. So, yes, we want to win the A-10 championship. That's going to be our goal. But that's one game at the end of May. Yep. And, and if that doesn't work out the way you want it to, you want your body of work uh, to speak for your team. And, and that's really our goal year in and year out. You, you talk about the A-10 this year. Uh, Mason's coming in. Sure. And, and Davidson will be in next year. Right. How much has that changed the dynamic of the league? Uh, it brings some more robberies to Absolutely. us, which is nice too. You know, and, and Davidson and, and George Mason both have both have great programs, and, and and will add to an already very competitive league. With St. Louis, Rhode Island have great programs. St. Joe's is a really an up and coming program in, in uh, our league as well. So, I was really impressed with the talent level of the A10 last year. Not that I thought it was going to be down, but I was yep. I was super impressed. So it's just going to continue to get stronger, which we're excited about. We had a great start to last year sure. in, in your first season. Then we got the injury bug a little bit sure. and lost some close games. What did you learn as a coach between last season when it started and, and as you're preparing for this, this part of it to start? You know, you learn more so, and we always hear, to, to control what you can control. Okay. <laughs> we started off. Which we nine. all love to do yeah, that, don't we? No <laughs> doubt, right? We started off 9-0, and and we probably weren't that good of a baseball team. And then we hit a skid where we won 3 out of 12, and we weren't that bad of a baseball team. Yep. You know, you're going to have growing pains throughout your season, and it's it's really about weathering that storm and, and, and getting your guys to continue to weather that storm and, and focusing the control what you what they can control. And uh, Because, you know, like you said, right now this weather, we have no control over it. None. We just have to be focused on what we need to do. Well, and, and as you look at it, too, some of our non-conference games will be during the week when yep. you don't have your number one arm sure. going. Um, but, you know, well, you can control how you play defense. You control how you hit the ball. How much do you talk with your team about that of, you know, it, it is what's right in front of us right now? Yeah, we only talk about, you know, to be honest with you, we mostly talk about defense pitching and, and what we would like to call giving up free bases. We talk about the free base war. It's like the turnover war in football, okay? Yep. Free bases and on the defensive side, baseball is the only sport where you have the baseball when you're on defense. So you have control over it. So we talk about constantly being able to control the baseball, controlling ourselves defensively, and just really taking care of how many and limiting free bases. Because you don't have if the other guy on the mound's good, you're in trouble that day. You right. know, and you got to beat them two to one. And and, and it's going to take errorless baseball games to do that. Well, in college baseball, used to be known as a station to station game, right? First to second, second <laughs> yep. to third type of thing. Offensive, yep. A a in a from an offensive perspective. Um, you know, I think our fans know that we're not going to necessarily play that way. You know, I, as our fans look ahead, who are some of the guys that you think can really make a jump this year? Well, well I think first off, it's getting Bill Cullen back healthy. Yeah. Um, Billy had a uh, terrible injury to his eye last year, which really affected his season. You're talking about a guy who was third-team All-American preseason last year and preseason conference player of the year. Um, so getting him back healthy, he's a dynamic player. He can do yeah. everything. Um, we, we have a, a sophomore coming on, a young man by the name of uh, uh, um, of Cody. 
Cody Acker, who, who's coming out of that, I really think can emerge this year as being an elite player. We return Joey Kujis, is really one of the better hitters, yeah. I think, I think in the country, no question. in the middle of our lineup. And uh, there's a couple freshmen, a guy by the name of Shane Dressler, Matt Davis, and Logan Farrar that uh, Ram fans need to look out for in the next three years. They're going to be really good. Well, and, and as we look ahead, uh, one of the highlights of this this year coming up, obviously, will be the Key Dog Classic. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite ballparks in America, the Peninsula Pilots uh, <laughs> yeah. baseball. Old school. It is and, very old school. And you know I'm an old yeah. school guy, Greg. It's uh, older than old school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the first school. I think, yeah, I think it was. No doubt. But, you know, that game was a great crowd last year. Yeah. And obviously, for our, for our fans, it's something that they look forward to. And, and you know, it's been great to play with ODU. Yeah. As, uh, as we look forward to that coming up here in, in, in the second half of the season, sort of, um, how much does that play into how we go into it and, and the, the emotions behind it? You know, it does. Yeah, obviously, it's highlighted on the schedule. And, yeah. and you want to make sure that when you go into that game that, um, you know, one, you want to win the game. Don't get me wrong. Everyone's competing to win the game. But you want to make sure that the experience is not only good for the fans, but good for the players yep. as well. And re remember why you're doing it. We're so fortunate to have um, great partners in the Peninsula Pilots. Um, yeah. They've been outstanding with us. Old Dominion's played a big part in this, obviously, for Coach Keys. And, uh, you know, it's one of those ones that we have it set up for the next four years. Our date's a little early this year. It's, I believe, March 26th, yep. which is a little bit early for us this year. But we, we've locked that thing in for really the last week of the season over the next uh, couple of years. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great tradition. And, and, you know, I love it, to be honest with you. It was a lot of fun last year. Well, last year we won the game, yep. scoring five runs. Five runs. <laughs> Coach Keys' number. Yep. The next day. I had a baby. You girl. had a baby. <laughs> had the, a baby. The day after that, uh, I got a job. You, got, you became the head coach. <laughs> so it was a pretty good. Talk about day. a three-game winning streak, no, right? No, three-game no, winning streak. Yeah. Sweep for me. I'm not yeah. quite sure you'll ever forget the first, uh, the first key dog classic. I will not. Uh, no, I, uh, and that's for sure. What are the? Uh, it was a pretty emotional 48 hours for me, to say the least. So, uh, so you know, as we look forward to it, you know, obviously we go through this year and and um, and go through the season, but your staff is going to be recruiting like crazy. Yes, absolutely. All the time on the road yeah. um, you know how much is, uh, if, has that changed you know with the, with the weather becomes an issue and then your, your staff's going to be out on the road and going but as you become a head coach you become the guy who was on the road sure to the guy who now is making sure the guys are on the road. Yeah, 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 sometimes I look at them and I think, how did I ever do that? You know, when I hear their yep. fo their phones ring nonstop this time of year. Um, Jeff and Kurt, who do an unbelievable job for our recruiting, their phones are ringing nonstop. But what happens with this weather is everything gets pushed back. Yeah, right. And then all of a sudden you look up and in April and May and and it's it's see a family. You, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll see you in October. And that, that's really what happens. But uh, recruiting is uh, it's a different animal these days. It's getting younger, younger, and younger. We're now allowed three people out in the road. Yeah. Um, which is difference. good for me because I still I still love getting out there and beating the bushes and and so um, you know it, it, it continues to change that landscape of baseball and college baseball has just really really changed over the last five years. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna talk we're gonna talk Major League Baseball for just a hot minute. Before I thought we were gonna go. talk Super Bowl commercials. No, we're not talking. <laughs> we have the expert on. You're not the expert, <laughs> but you are the expert on the Pittsburgh Pirates. I do enjoy the Pirates. Wow. Were back in the postseason last year. Yeah, they were. Jody Rogers, when she was on the show last year, she predicted the Red Sox were in the World Series and they did it. Well, that's, are, that's, that's probably a safe prediction. Are you going to go bold now? <laughs> I am absolutely not going to go bold. <laughs> Buckos? Buckos this year. P it, playoffs it, it, again? I remember, it was, what was it, uh, I believe 26 years Tw yeah, between? Yeah, it's just 26 years year. between. Yeah. between. Playoffs this year what? I, I know. I think they have the, they, they, their window is now, to be dead honest with you. They have the arms. They have the yeah. young arms. They have That kid Garrett Cole is probably as dynamic no as doubt. anybody in the game right now. In the middle of their lineup with McCutcheon and Alvarez is, is extremely good. So, you know, for me, you know what the biggest thing I'm excited about the Pirates? Is Cody Epley's a pirate. Uh, yeah, it's great. Ram. So if he can get up there, that would be exciting for me. Um, but yeah, for the first time, you know, I'm going into my preseason uh, baseball, Major League Baseball, thinking like, do I want to get the package? And, you know, do I want, <laughs> and my wife going to let me, should I ask for that for my birthday? Uh, can I watch 162 <laughs> games no. this year? You can DVR 162 <laughs> games, exactly, though. That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, uh, the time is limited, right? So you might be watching more games in July and August. Yeah, the big thing, the Pirates changed their logo. They got rid of yeah, Jolly Roger. Rid of jo well, they're still going to fly it. They're still fly, but it's not going to be the crest of the organization, which is, uh, you know, um, raise the Jolly Roger was something I grew up on, and right. here is, to hear it again this year become trendy again, you know, is uh, pretty exciting. Well, Stiff, always great to have you. Thank you, One guys. of the bright young coaches in baseball right now, uh, Sean Stiff. I appreciate it. Great guys. stuff. Thanks Enjoy so much, again. Coach. We're going to uh, wind down the show here. Obviously, uh, tomorrow, or tomorrow, well, you can get in line tomorrow. Uh, you can. <laughs> you, you can, can get, get in line, line right now if you want. Get in line now. Uh, 
you could get in line. Uh, we had a question about that, obviously. And we said, yeah, go get in line. Sure, if you want to stand out there for a couple of... It's brisk. <laughs> VCU, Crosstown rival, uh, Richmond, 11 a.m., and certainly we want everyone uh, to get there early because, yeah. uh, you know, it's it's obviously – it's I can't remember an 11 a.m. start. Definitely some noon starts. I don't ever really remember an 11 a.m. start. But I think it's really important for folks to get there, have a big crowd, and, and let everyone see on ESPN2 what a great environment the Siegel Center is. Yeah, it, it's really a big one for us in a lot of ways is this, uh, this Saturday. And it is 11 o'clock. Butler was a noon start last year, and, and that was electric. And I really think – think our fans can beat that. So I guess the challenge to our fans is, <laughs> is uh, let, let's see if you can do it. And it is a blackout. The T-shirt will be on your seat when you roll in. It will. You can go ahead and wear black if you like, accessorize, but it's got to be black. Put your T-shirts on. Yeah, put, yeah, well, you, we, that is a little strange, We're right? going to give you a T-shirt. Go ahead and put it on. Put it on. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it is always weird when you see people like, you're not going to wear the T-shirt. Yeah. But it's part of the promotion. It'll look really cool. They've done that before in the past, and obviously it looks, uh, it looks really it, great. It's Even awesome. better on TV. It really does. And it uh, should be really great. Uh, obviously, coming off a, a great win last night, and the Rams are rolling right now, and uh, should be a fantastic environment. But again, want to encourage everyone to get out there uh, early for the 11 o'clock start coming up on uh, Saturday between VCU and Richmond. Uh, thanks so much to our guests. Really good stuff, and good we'll stuff. see you over at the Siegel Center on Saturday morning. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Ed. Quick timeout. We'll come back at the top of the hour. The Shaka Smart Radio Show, live from Home Team Grill and the Fan on ESPN 950. Hey, Richmond, this is Mark Smith with Midas of Richmond. For a long time, you've worked with us to fight hunger. We've talked about...